come out here into the garden, uh, still trying to get used to this power uh, director 14, which is some software that I brought, and get used to the camera and lighting effects and stuff. So I'm making a load of random videos and I pulled out a fishing stove that I use when I go pike fishing. I, uh, I've got a stove that I use to cook up my soups, uh, hot dogs, fry ups, and a cup of tea. And always important, most important, I've got to have a cup of tea wherever I go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna boil up a kettle of water and uh, see how long this stove takes to cook it. It's a tracker low center of gravity stove uh, for obvious reasons and you'll see that when I set it up. Let's have a look. Right, well, here goes. Here's the stove. I've got my kettle of water. And, uh, let's get this stove lit. Like I said, it's a tracker low center of gravity stove. And that's just lit there. And uh, basically called a low center of gravity stove because it's low to the ground. You can put your pots and whatever you want to put on top of the stove there and it stops it falling over because it's got a low center of gravity. Uh, I've got a kettle full of water here. We're gonna throw that on there. And, uh, let's see how long that takes to boil. Hopefully we'll see the steam rising up when that's boiled. The job's a good one. Make a cup of tea. Right, already I can see that kettle starting to steam. Turn it up a little bit more. Get the kettle nice and central. Now these stoves are pretty cool. Uh, they'll boil a cup of tea very quickly. There's probably a couple of cups of, uh, of water in that kettle, so we can make a couple of cups of tea there in a very short space of time. Really handy when I go fishing, you know, especially on a cold morning when you have to go out searching the pike. Uh, it can be really cold and this stove is a godsend, absolute godsend. The canisters there all boil a kettle, Christ knows how many times, you know, a hundred times or more. And, uh, there you go, it's 5 99 for the gas bottle there. And like I said, it'll boil loads and loads and loads of kettles. There we go, we've got a decent amount of steam coming out of that spout there. And whether you can see that on the camera or not, I'm not sure. Uh, like I say, I'm doing these for experiments, basically. You know, experimenting, trying to work out how to use the software and to get used to using the camera. Uh, I would say that's definitely on the boil. So really simple. Stove off. Water in my cup. Beautiful. Stir that up and have a nice cup of tea. Sorry. And there we have it. When it's a cold morning on an October or November, that is fully appreciated. Hot cup of tea. Beautiful. One gas canister, ready for next time. Many, many cups of tea in there, I'll tell you, many cups of tea. I'm on stove, packed away in its bag, ready to throw in the rucksack. Job's a good one. Not forgetting the uh, little tracker kettle there. Sorry. Enjoy my cup of tea.